Oh my god, I just went through all of that and I had it on time lapse. What's poppin' YouTube? My name is Cass. Welcome back to my channel, Side Main Hustle. I'm running late today. Let's go package up some items I sold over the weekend. Wasn't super stellar, uh, but dollar value was pretty decent. I'm gonna go grab those right now. First item I got going out today is a pair of lenses. Should be these. The yep, Juliet Black Polarized. So these lenses are a to a a uh, pair of sunglasses that have been discontinued for uh, probably 20 something years now. So they sell for really good. Uh, even though they're used, I sold it for $125. This item should be in here. And I gotta find it, I gotta dig in here. I shoved this thing so full of stuff the past couple days. Oh man, I think something just fell out too. This guy is a range extender. Uh, so you hook it up to a mobile hotspot and it gives you better signal. Sold this for $19.99 with free shipping. Probably saw that one already. Uh, I had sold this um, yesterday and I forgot how much it weighed. I put the incorrect uh, shipping weight in the description so I had to double check that and weigh it. Uh, so that way I make sure I send it out correctly. Uh, this sold for $64.95 plus free shipping. And you guys have seen this a couple of times. These, I really like these, these sell so well. I wish I could have picked up more. Uh, if you haven't seen the last few videos, it's from a retail arbitrage that I did at Adidas. Uh, it was Black Friday, got these for half off, and they've just been selling really well. Another Oakley item going out. This is a pair of M2 frame sunglasses, uh, just the frame, and this sold for $59. Free shipping for the buyer. Now, normally I'd have the iPad in that electronics box that you guys saw, but because I know that I sold this one as well as this uh, Nintendo Wii, um, Ready Set Grover Sesame Street, I had them sitting together. I uh, pulled it out over the weekend. So this one sold for $9.99 uh, plus free shipping. And I'm gonna send that out media mail. So it's gonna cost me $2.80. And then I'm gonna send out this iPad mini. Um, this sold for $90 plus shipping. Um, that's gonna cost me about $12 to ship out. Let's find an iPhone that sold. Let's see if I can see it from the outside. I think that's it right there, maybe. Yep, that right there looks like it. That's one thing I like about having clear containers is that I can try and get in here with, whoops. That was not good. Right. Let's get in there and see where the uh, stuff is at, even though I can't access it too easily. <laughs> That's, that, that took some doing to get this out. So this is the iPhone 6, uh, 128 gig and sold this for $89 plus shipping. And this is actually going out to someone in Zambia, Africa. Uh, it popped up with a option for eBay international delivery. Uh, I haven't seen that before. I Googled it, looked it up and basically uh, eBay international delivery is different than eBay global shipping and it was $2 cheaper So I figured you know what might as well try it out and basically it gets sent to eBay and they ship it out from there So similar to global shipping. I've actually never tried global shipping um, But I've always just sent the item directly to the individual and I generally don't have any problems But I figured hey a couple dollars cheaper might as well send it out <laughs> Finna jump for the shit All top when I speak All cap with the speech Till they caught up in the rapture I'm so out of line with the phrase game Let's take a break Been a long day Hit your line with your fall through With the light sticks Maybe help me spark the ideas We got nowhere else to go It's only up from there I've been on my 
on, just running through the field, say vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like it. Yeah, I fantasize. It. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let them hit the fear of a passive aggressive. And we black men with a passion. Steady grip while I shoot to the stars. Alright, all done. Let's grab them and go. <laughs> oh my god. I just went through all that and I had it on time lapse. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Time lapse, jeez. All right, so what I had said in my time lapse portion of the video was I had some more things that sold today, which is Monday. I wanted to add that into my weekend of sales because I wasn't gonna do a video of what sold on Monday. Anyways, <laughs> I sold a Nintendo Wii. It's a bundle. I sold it with two controllers, two nunchucks, all the cables, there's even an internet cable in there. I messed up on this. I messed up on the shipping. I posted it for $75 and I was supposed to have the buyer pay for a uh, medium flat rate box, but I chose that I was paying for it. So good job on me for that. Uh, I lost out about $14 or $15. Um, it's all right, because I didn't really have too much into this Wii. Um, I did not go out and buy it. I had traded it for something years ago. I don't even remember what I traded it for, but it was not a high dollar value item. Um, so I don't really have that much into it. So live and learn. Um, I'll make sure that I pay more attention to the shipping. I do that a lot, actually. I just did that earlier today when I printed a shipping label. It was a media mail and I had actually, um, you guys just saw it. It was the Grover uh, Wii game and it was supposed to be media mail and I chose first class and I didn't realize it until I got to the post office and I was like, I'm not taking it back. So I need to really focus on the shipping. Um, anyways. Speaking of media mail, I sold these two. Uh, these are Mickey Mouse DVDs and they were my kids. I sold them for $9.95. I paid the shipping on that one and I did choose media mail. <laughs> uh, I sold these Sony headphones. They're wireless Bluetooth and these do not go for that much. They're about $29. I paid for the shipping, but they're super light. They're only about 10 or 11 ounces. So I got that going out in first class. So it only costs about $3.50 or so. Now, um, I've said this a couple times in my videos, but I have to stress upon it again. When you can't sell the frames with the sunglasses, so split them up. I sold this pair of lenses, and this particular uh, color is going really well for me. It's a shallow water uh, prism polarized uh, Oakley lenses. I sold them for $67 when I was asking about 110 for the whole pair of sunglasses and they weren't selling. So I just sold them separately and they sold very quickly. And something that's pretty nice, the last thing that I sold, I love it when stuff sells quickly, especially for a higher value. I didn't think I was gonna uh, be able to sell it that quickly for this dollar amount, um, was these pair of sunglasses right here. They're called Oakley Racing Jacket and they're pretty nice. Um, they, I don't believe they make these anymore. Uh, they also came with two sets of lenses as well as a, a zipper case. So I sold this for $189.95 and I was originally thinking of listing it for about $160. Um, sold for a little bit more, I think, because of the extra lenses. So definitely nice to get full price on that and quickly. So that's about it for my what's sold for today, um, this weekend and Monday as well. It's about $850 worth of sales and uh, that's obviously not profit. That's all my gross sales, so not taking out my fees for PayPal, eBay, shipping, uh, cost of goods, all that all that stuff that comes along with it. But I take it, you know, not a, not a bad three days. So my goal is to get to about $500 in gross sales per day on average. So that means I need to get it up to about $15,000 on average per month. It's a pretty hefty goal. I've done it before, so I'm gonna need to do it again. And that's basically gonna be what I need to be at in order for me to continue this full time. So wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching, making it to the end of the video. If you can do me a favor, it'd really mean a lot. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Catch me in the next one.